Hello everyone, Numer here bringing you all a tutorial guide on the most efficient portals on every ranked map. Now unfortunately I could not fit Lakeside, Moonlit, and Every Sleeping Town all into one clumped up video. However, I will be making a part two soon if everyone does enjoy this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up, you know, comment if you choose to, but I appreciate you watching it. Now before we get into the video, I do just want to say it is a blessing from each and every one of you that did watch my first video, you know, even for the one that disliked it, you know, I appreciate you for watching it. Now without further ado, let's get right into it. Starting off, we have Arms Factory, you know, not her best map, but I also don't think it's the Roach's worst map. Now we call this one Factory Pallet, I mean it's pretty simple. For those that do not know, you can use it for transitioning from Triple Pallet or Sandbags, rotating or even kiting. Now you see me here kiting, trying to bait him into the portal. Yes, this is just customs, but I can use this in game for ranked. He takes the portal, pallet stun, sets you up for your kite. Now on to the next. I call this one water tank. You can call it front gate, it really doesn't matter. But you wanna come to that little wall, you wanna make a straight line. This is mainly used to gain distance from the hunter. Just to set you up for your kite, you vault the window and you kite from there. Now the last three I recommend, the first one would be Shack Corner. I set this one up beforehand just in case a dream which sneaks up on you, a bloody queen mirrors on top of you, or even a Wu Chang teleporting, you know, it can go on and on. Now you can see I can decode and not give a free hit at the same time, which is crucial in game. You see the Wu Chang teleport near me. I take that portal immediately. I don't want to get hit. He goes through it. I'm going to eventually vault this window. Since I have this speed boost, he's going to eventually miss that blink. I'm going to drop the pallet. I'm gaining distance when I drop that pallet. The next one I like to call is Shack Window. Now you can use this mid kite to gain distance, which I did, or help support people like Mechanic. And the last one I'd like to recommend to you guys would be Container. Drop this pallet right here, gain distance. Container everyone should know about. It's pretty simple. And that's it for Arms Factory. Now we're gonna head over to Hospital for the next map. Starting off with Priestess's strongest map, in my opinion, we are at two pallet, <laughs> ironically the one I named it. Now you wanna make sure that pallet's dropped right there. I go all the way around. I'm gonna line up a straight line. It's pretty simple. Now this is just like the Arms Factory Shack one. You see, I'm not gonna give up a free hit off of the beginning if someone teleports on me, like this Wu Cheng does in this gameplay. And now you're gonna see me go through that portal. Now I'm just setting up this kite. I'm gonna drop that pallet. He breaks it, take this speed boost. I notice he's gonna go for the pallet. And now I just start setting up portals, just me normally kiting. Now we're gonna go over to statue. Now I call this a really efficient one. I see he teleports near me. It's right near the table. You wanna make a straight line, statue pallet. It's pretty simple on the names. Now we're gonna move on to hospital. Hospital is very key, it has three of them. First starting off with double doors. I mean, it got the name because it's near double doors. It reaches all the way to the window. You can use this in a loop in hospital, which is really good. Now you're gonna see me move on to upstairs. The next one I like to call it elevator. Most people call it that because no matter which way you go, it's gonna lead into a palace sun if they go through the portal. Now you see the Wu Cheng behind me. I see he's coming for me. I slid up that portal. Boom, I wait for him. He goes through it, palace sun. Now on to the final one for hospital. I like to call it statue windows, you know, call it lemonade, you know, go wild, go crazy, call it whatever you want. But this one's mainly used for kiting, for looping, or even people that got cheered at statue, they wanna get away, they can head over to this portal. Even if double doors are set up there, they gain a lot of distance. Now moving on to red church, you wanna make sure you have both of these pallets drop down. One is used for a pallet boost and the other one is used for the loop I'm going to be showing you. Now I call this one church door. You wanna to try to set this one up beforehand if you're decoding in church because a Wu Chang could teleport on you. You know, it's same as the ones I showed you before. Actually, you're gonna see in this gameplay, the Wu Chang teleport on me with the new skin. I finish the calibration. I get through the pallet. Now we're gonna be moving on to the second one that helps with this loop. I call it church window. It's pretty easy. Just go for a straight line. It'll take you right to the window. If you don't get the boost, I did. You could take the pallet and you'll be in a loop. Moving on to the back of Graveyard, you see me kiting from back gate. I'm moving back there. I see he breaks the pallet. This can be used for support or mid kite. You see me set that up, and this is gonna help me transition right to another pallet. Now moving on. Into this next clip, I'm gonna be at top broken. That's what my team calls it. Now the hunter can either spawn Graveyard or spawn in the middle of church. You see me, you can either head to middle broken or you can start heading towards Graveyard. Now the hunter spawns on top of me. I call this one Wedding Gate. It can help you rotate to the best area to kite in the map, which is Graveyard. Now on to the next. Now I want to point out these two portals because they can really help you late game if the hunter teleports on you. I call it Carpet Gate. 
You're also going to use two portals to transition. Either if you one friend has to go graveyard, you go to top broken, you know, just split it up. But we're going to be moving on to Leo's memory. Now, this is the last map I'll be showing you guys for this guide. I call this one factory top, maybe top of factory, really doesn't matter. It's just for mid kite. It helps you get from the bottom to the top quickly. The next one in factory that I like to use a lot is called factory pallet. You can either get a stun from it, but you could just gain a lot of distance overall. Now you're gonna see the hunter start to come towards me. I'm gonna wanna bait him into that pallet. I'm gonna start moving back and forth, but eventually he's gonna go through it. Don't wanna stay there for too long. I don't know what's going on. He goes through it. I'm gonna end up getting that pallet stun. On to the next baby. Now the next clip shown will be near Christmas gate. You want to move towards the left of those two boxes and make a straight line. Now the pallet could be there, it could be not. A cipher could be there, it could be not. It really does help you rotate though and transition from one area to the next. Now this final portal that I use on Leo's memory and daily rank grinds will be Christmas tree pallet just in case there's a cipher there. I want to head straight there or maybe even get a pallet stun. It just all depends on what the in-game situation is. You're going to see him teleport near me and I take that. Now unfortunately this will be the end of part one for the guide of the best portals on every ranked map. If you guys do want to see more make sure you like this, comment if you choose to. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you all have a blessed day.